first things first, this one from Glam and Grace. It's this matte bronzer multi-stick and I am obsessed with it. Uh, this is what it looks like. I've been using it. Funny enough, I used it for work today. It's because it's so simple to apply. And this one is in the shade Toasted Terracotta. Terracotta? 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 Whatever. Tomato, tomato. But it's a Toasted Terracotta. And um, I love the look that it gives you. So I'm going to swatch it on my hand first. And then um, I think what I'm going to do throughout the live stream today is I'm going to apply it um, straight onto my face and kind of show you guys how I would do it. I do have like some like residual makeup from the day on because I haven't like done my whole nighttime routine yet, but I'll still like apply over. It's not a big deal. So hi, Brandon. How are you? So I'm gonna, so here's like what it looks like on my skin. I feel like it's a nice bronze look. I love, I don't like when it's too orange, um, but I feel like that's just for my skin tone specifically. The orange just doesn't look good. It obviously makes me look very orange. Um, this kind of shade, which is like a very like neutral brown shade, I feel gives you that really bronze glowy look. So the way to, here's the way I apply it fully and I'll kind of like go through it. I wish I would have brought my brush to show you guys. Okay, so here's the thing with this. You can either apply it with your fingers or you can apply, like, you can dab it in with your fingers or you can dab it in with um, a brush. I've tried both ways. It's two different looks. So with your, if you do it with your finger, the one thing is that I feel like it doesn't give you as much of a blend as it would if you do it with the brush. I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like it gives you like a harsher look. Whereas if you used an actual brush, you could kind of just like brush it in and it, I feel like I'm going to, I'll apply it first and then I'm going to run off and like grab the brush so I can show you guys one side and the other. So you can see the difference. Hi Mac. Hi Akila. How are you guys? All right. So I do it like this and sometimes I'll kind of like go in to like my cheek a little bit. And then I'll do this side as well. Every day is like a diet experiment in different ways. And sorry for this. I'm just stressed. All right. So then I would do something like this. Sometimes I'll go in a little bit more. This, we're doing this more for like a night, which is the whole purpose of today. Um, I do a little bit under. And then I'll do my nose for like a like a contour look. And then sometimes I'll do like under. That's supposed to give you like more of like a pouty look once you blend it out. I feel like even without blending it in, you can already see like the more like sculpted look down here. So let me let me run. I'm gonna go run and get the brush. Okay, back. So let's do the brush side first and then I'll show you guys the hand. Um, hi, Julie, how are you? Thanks for joining everyone. Um, okay, so here's with the brush. So you have like that nice, and this is obviously, I mean, I'm sure I could do a better job I feel like you never get the same look when you're looking at your phone versus when you're looking at a mirror, right? Sometimes I'll take it up a little bit, just depends. But you see how it gives you that nice, like, diffused sort of look? And then let's do this side. Let's do up. So you're really, um, and this is like kind of like a kabuki brush. I've had this forever and a day. It's from Real Techniques. Um, I very much enjoy this brush. Um, I've had this bug flying around my house for like two days and I've been trying to kill it and it will not die. Okay, so this is this side and this is with the brush. So very diffused, kind of minimal, right? 
So if you were to go in with your finger on this side, The one thing is I will say that this one might give you more of like, I don't know if I would say natural look because I feel like this is pretty natural, but I feel like this is a little bit more diffused, if that makes sense. I don't know if like the way I'm saying it makes it seem like it's the same, but in like when I look at it, it does not look the same. So then I usually try to like go up into the hairline. You know, I obviously like touch up on both sides, right? So we're going up and then underneath and then on the side here. So I don't know if you notice, but like, let me try to get closer. This side versus that side. Does anyone notice a difference or is it me? This right here is definitely harsher on this side than it is on this side. So I would say if you're going to use a stick, it might be useful. Oh, oops. It might be useful to use a brush and you kind of brush the blend out just so that you can get more of that product to like blend into your skin. So this is nonetheless incredible. I absolutely love it. Um, Usually when I do bronzer, I apply powder sometimes and I do it with a brush anyway, so it's all the same to me. I can even tell the difference looking like this, but it still like looks, if I just like left and went out like this, I don't think anyone would really notice the difference. But this is 1955, worth it. It's a small stick. This fits in a little tiny purse, so if you're going out and you might want to touch up, sometimes you could even like, this is what I do sometimes. Um, if I want to like do a base, but I might not have like a brown that's nice enough or whatever. I'll use bronzer as a base and then add more to it. So it's still pretty and it still gives you like that natural sort of look. And then you can obviously add whatever else you wanted to after that. Um, but this is like a good foundation and it's since it's a multi stick, it's really cool because you can apply it in so many different places multi-use so you get the most bang out of your buck for this for 1955 i feel like it's pretty worth it um, especially that you can carry this around everywhere in your purse and you can go out to the club the bar wherever you're going out and you can have this handy at all times very very useful um so that's that so i am telling you guys run go get it very worth it so the next thing would be, I showed you guys this, I think a couple weeks ago, and I stand by it wholeheartedly. It's 